Well, the topic of today's video are miscellaneous but super helpful features that exist in DVM that you probably don't know about. So I'm going to dive right in to the first feature. Did you know that if you click on the header of any of these categories, it has links to guides on configuring these categories? You click the link, you get the link, copy it to the clipboard, go to your browser and just paste the link in, and there's the guide for the feature you clicked. This is so that you can get access to as much helpful information about DVM at your fingertips. And what often happens is a lot of the questions answered in these guides, users come into Discord and ask them because they don't know they can, uh, the self-help resources already exist because they're not easily discoverable. That's something the GUI kind of fails at, is making it apparent that these little features exist. So the next feature I want to talk about. I mean, and again, a very commonly requested feature because they don't know they can already do it. People ask, how do I change which frame DBMS is appear on? Click chat frame messages. You hit select chat frame and you click on the frame you want messages to go to. Now they go to that frame instead. And if you don't want, want uh, that frame anymore, you can hit reset to go back to default. Or you could just click the button again and go to a different frame. And that's all you got to do to change the me where messages go on DBM. A lot of people say, how do I disable X message? Most chat messages can be disabled right here. Let's say you don't want to see when a boss is engaged or defeated. You just turn them off. Obviously, I think those messages are important. You want to know a boss has been pulled. And additional features exist here that aren't even on by default. You can turn this on. And now if your guildie or someone on your friends list pulls a world boss, you'll get a notification for it. This is not as useful for retail because the world bosses are always up. But in like places like Classic WoW, maybe you want to know that Azure Ghost or something has spawned. Now this is specifically relying on the era. Obviously the instance version and season of discovery is a different beast entirely. And this last option here is for the real power users. It's what I'm running all the time when you're watching my videos or streams and you hear like dings going on because DVM detects a bad timer. That's this feature right here. You click it on and now when DVM detects a bad timer, it will display a chat message, which timer and what the incorrectness was. And that's helpful for if you want to report bugs in DBM, you can enable this feature and help track them better. On to the next, and one of the most fun features in DBM. Event sounds. Did you know you could set not just the victory sound that plays by default, which is, I think, Smooth and the Groove Final Fantasy fanfare, but you can set sounds to play, different sounds to play in a wipe, including random. I like to set wipe to random because then I get a lot of funny sounds when we wipe like this. Let me guess. You got in over your head. <laughs> that will always cheer you up after a wipe. When you hear Bon Zombie taunting you for wiping to a boss, easily a mood improvement even if your raid is doing terrible and you've wiped 400 times, when you're getting funny sounds on wipes, it helps improve your mood in raiding. Trust me. Set this to random. And it'll play all, all this. Now, a lot of this is installed by additional packs, and that's what I want to talk about, too. You can install packs to get all, these, all this music and options for sounds as well. And one of the best packs is a Smooth McGroove pack, thanks to my... Good friend Smooth McGroove, he lets me uh, use any of his music for DBM I want. I got his full express permission. So I can add any of his cool songs if they make sense in DBM. And they can play wherever you want. Like you can set music that plays during a dungeon. Let's say I want to be like... I won't play this one on stream because Nintendo will copyright strike me. But I was going to play the Zelda music. But let's not put that in the video. I'll put... Uh... Dr. Wily stage. This music will now play in the background anytime you're in a dungeon. 
But when you pull a boss, it will stop. And then when you, uh, the boss combat ends, it'll replay again. And when you leave the instance, it'll stop. This music will only play in dungeons and raids. But it will stop playing when you leave the screen. It just does that so you know what you're actually choosing. So that's the dungeon music. Now let's play, pick some encounter music. Let's see. I'm fighting a boss. Let's play... This music will now play during boss fights. You get the idea with that. Having these music options makes your raiding or dungeon running far more lively. That's for sure. I actually streamed Nimue with this song playing the entire stream during boss fights because that's how I felt, dodging her lines. All these lines coming out where I'm just trying to move around like this. I was like, you know what? I need a Tetris theme while I'm doing this boss because it just makes sense in my head. And let me tell you, no matter how many times you wipe to that boss, I was still jamming the whole time because this was playing during the boss progress progression. What's the bonus special feature I want to show? Well, when I added this feature to DBM, I was thinking, you know what? Let's just take it one step further and I added a secret music player. Whatever song is set here can be played anywhere you want by doing slash DBM music start. The secret music player. Undocumented until now. And this video has been about features you probably didn't know about, but now you do. I'm going to continue doing videos like this about DBM until you know about every cool feature that there is. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.